of positive emotions is that it actually shifts the functioning of the brain out of reactivity and out of contraction and out of those survival responses. It is not a bypass. It's building the muscle. So when, when clients do practice gratitude or compassion or kindness or joy or awe, when I go out in nature and I have my moments of awe, that shifts the functioning of the brain to more receptivity, more openness to learning, more bigger perspective, more optimism, and the direct measurable cause and effect outcome is resilience. So I make sure I'm teaching my clients how to practice positive emotions because it is part of their arsenal to be more resilient. You know, what a great point worth reemphasizing because so often we think of positive emotions as a kind of distraction from stress and that the most positive emotions can do for us is maybe just give us a break from all the anxiety and stress. But what you're saying is positive emotions don't, they're not, I think the word you used was they're not just a bypass. They're That's actually right. building muscle. That's right. That's right. So that, yes, we can use positive emotions, any positive experience. You play with your kids, you have a good dinner. It can be a distraction from the worries of the day. And then you regroup and you have more energy to deal with what's going on. But the truth is, it's, it's more than a distraction. It's actually building the muscle to open up to the bigger picture, to be more optimistic. And resilience is an outcome of that. So we practice these emotions, not just to feel better, but to do better.